Hi YouTube, it's Adult Moshi Fan 87 As I'm sure you've guessed from my YouTube username, I'm a huge fan of Moshi Monsters, have been for five and a half years now. As I'm sure you're aware, Moshi Monsters has been one of the most popular kids franchises over the past few years. Lots of merchandise, three games for the Nintendo DS, and even a movie. However, after a few good years of being mega popular and all, 2014 has not been so good a year for Moshi Monsters. Not much new merchandise was released, and the main Moshi game didn't update much. I am aware that Mind Candy underwent a bit of a restructure and introduced some new products and all, more on that later, but surely after a bad 2014, Moshi Monsters can get back on its feet in 2015, right? In this video, I will share some ideas on how Moshi Monsters can get back on its feet in 2015 after a bad 2014. First things first, the main Moshi Monsters browser game should be updated many times throughout 2015. I think it would be a good idea if we could see some new features in the game. Not many were introduced in 2014. You fellow Moshi fans feel free to share some ideas for new Moshi features in the comments below. While we're at it, I strongly feel that we could do with some new Super Moshi missions. We haven't had one since the Zack Binspin mission just after summer 2013. It would be nice if some new songs could be added to the underground disco. And how about some new food and house decor for us to buy? Also, considering that Skyjack Publishing, publishers of the Moshi Monsters magazine, discontinued the Poppet magazine in favour of some BFF magazine, I think it would be great if the Poppeteers and the Baby Moshlings resurfaced in Moshi Monsters. A Super Moshi mission with the Poppeteers, or maybe a whole new Poppeteers area in the game, would be awesome. I am aware that you can buy more floors for your in-game house, but unfortunately there's a maximum number of floors you can buy. I feel that the number of floors you can have for your house should be increased, especially if you're a veteran Moshi player like me and therefore have many items in your possession. I also think it would be great if you could level up past level 50. And did I mention that throughout most of 2014, the Daily Growl's posts seemed to be on autopilot, mostly giving us puzzles rather than news on in-game features and motionings and merchandise at all? Hopefully Mind Candy will come to their senses and put things right. I am aware of the new Katsuma music video which went online earlier this month, and I really enjoyed it, and I will watch it again and again. Also, it has come to my attention that there are a lot of animations out there for new Moshlings which are yet to be added to the game, so hopefully those Moshlings will be obtainable in-game before too long. I have also heard that some changes to copyright law in the UK were implemented within recent years, allowing greater freedom for parodies, so it would be great if Lady Goo Goo could make a comeback. Also, can there please be normal seed combinations for Dustbin Beaver, Wazzle and Lubber, making those three Moshlings accessible to everyone? It would also be great if the main Moshi game could be made playable on tablets. I've heard that one thing denting Moshi's popularity has been the rise of tablet computing, and I know that Moshi Monsters is a flash game, not playable on most tablets, but if Club Penguin and Movie Star Planet could be made playable on tablets via apps, can't the same also be done for Moshi Monsters? Next, I'd like to share an idea or two I have for marketing. While Moshi Monsters merchandise was advertised nicely on TV in 2014, we didn't see any ads for the main Moshi game. 
a new TV ad campaign would be most appreciated. Also, how about TV sponsorship? I'd love to be able to watch CITV, Pop, Kicks, Cartoon Network and Stroke or Boomerang and see Moshi Monsters sponsors this channel before each and every show I watch. May I also suggest having Moshi Monsters Entertainment at a vacation resort such as Centre Parks, Butlins or Haven. On to merchandise. I understand that there's some new Moshi merch on the way involving the Food Factory which was introduced in game last year and that there's a new Magnificent Moshi Circus toy line on the way. I hope that's involving up and coming in game content. But there's so much more Moshi Monsters can do. First, I'd like to suggest that Mind Candy partner with Kellogg's or Weetabix and make the in-game Katsuma Crunch cereal a real cereal. If it happens, expect me to buy multiple boxes whenever and wherever I can. I'd also like to mention that before Christmas, Nintendo released, in Japan and Australia, a new version of the Nintendo 3DS. This same new version of the handheld is due out here in February. I'd love it if, keeping in mind this new unit has interchangeable faceplates, we could get our hands on some Moshi Monsters themed faceplates for our new handhelds. Speaking of Nintendo's DS and 3DS handhelds, I'd like to remind you all that every year for three years earlier this decade, the nice people at Activision released a Moshi Monsters game for the DS. Two of those three games were also made for the 3DS. Unfortunately, they didn't release a fourth Moshi Monsters game last year. Activision, please make a new Moshi Monsters game for the 3DS this year. I felt empty without a new Moshi 3DS title to look forward to in 2014. It wasn't enough that Nintendo gave us new Inazuma 11, Smash Brothers, and Pokemon games. Please, Mind Candy and Activision, give us a new Moshi Monsters game for the 3DS. A 2-in-1 game card re-release of Mojling's Theme Park and Katsuma Unleashed would be nice, too. It would also be great if we could see some new Moshi Monsters cuddly toys, either from Carte Blanche or any other toy company who may want to take a shot. And speaking of Carte Blanche... What's ever happened to those Moshi greeting cards with real backgrounds they promised us? And that's all I can think of for merchandising ideas at this time. 2014 has not been a good year for Moshi Monsters, but hopefully Mind Candy can get their act together and put things right in 2015. I understand Mr Moshi's decision to step down as Mind Candy CEO, but surely they can still maintain Moshi Monsters as their flagship brand, right? Moshi Monsters is a brilliant franchise, and I understand Mind Candy's decision to bring us new products, and any new product can be good or bad. However, with the apps Mind Candy brought us last year, they each seem to rely on in-app purchases, and there isn't much of a gameplay experience on offer. In-app purchases are a very bad way to make money from your game. I will explain what's wrong with said business model in a future video. Just because in-app purchases are what lots of games are relying on nowadays doesn't necessarily mean it's the right thing to do. I may not be very keen on Mind Candy's latest game offering, World of Warriors, but I would like to share with Mind Candy, in case any Mind Candy employees are watching this, my idea for a language translator software package for the Nintendo 3DS, World Talk, which you talk into via the Nintendo 3DS's built-in microphone, and it translates into the language of your choice. Just the thing for vacations abroad. There are a lot of language translator apps out there for smartphones and tablets, but those need a cellular data connection, which you can't get abroad, unless you use data roaming, which will cost you an arm and a leg. WorldTalk on Nintendo 3DS, however, 
would have 10,000 phrases all on one Nintendo 3DS game card, and can translate between many languages. Either way, Mind Candy, I know you had a restructure and want to become a multi product company, but please help Moshi Monsters back on its feet in 2015 after a bad 2014, and please consider my pitch for 3DS language translation software. Adult Moshi Fan 87 out.